I'm Dr. Christopher Meyer, and I would like to give you a brief overview of the causes and treatment of leg swelling. Leg swelling is a common and debilitating condition that affects millions of Americans. It can have a dramatic negative impact on your life. Prior to treating leg swelling, it is very important to identify the etiology or cause of the leg swelling. When investigating the cause, it is important to consider the acuity of the swelling. If the swelling has occurred over the course of less than three days and the leg is painful and very swollen, it may be caused by a blood clot in the deep veins. This is called deep vein thrombosis or DVT. This can be a very serious situation because the blood clot can potentially break off and travel to the lungs. So if you have the sudden onset of swelling in one leg and it is very painful, you should call immediately so that we can obtain an ultrasound to make the diagnosis. DVT can be treated with medications to dissolve the clot and also with blood thinners. Chronic swelling of both legs that has occurred over weeks, months, or years is usually the result of venous insufficiency or abnormalities of the veins. Swelling from vein problems usually is pitting, meaning that you can press your thumb or finger into the leg and it will leave a pit in the tissue for a period of time. Venous insufficiency is often accompanied by brownish discoloration of the skin called venous stasis dermatitis. Other characteristics include varicose veins or spider veins. If swelling from venous insufficiency is not treated, it often leads to venous ulcers. These occur on the inside of the ankles and can take many months or years to heal. These ulcers can be extremely painful. There are two very effective treatments for swelling from venous insufficiency that you may not be aware of. The first treatment is EVLT. During this procedure, we close veins in which blood is going in the wrong direction and redirect the blood into healthy veins. This is a simple six minute procedure that is done in the office and can dramatically improve leg swelling. The other effective treatment is sequential compression pumps. These pumps massage the leg in a milking action. The pockets around the foot and ankle will inflate first and then subsequent pockets will follow in the same manner. This action improves the leg swelling by milking the fluid from the leg. These machines are delivered to your house and are yours to keep. They should be used for 30 to 60 minutes per night. They can dramatically improve leg swelling. These machines are expensive, but we will work hard with your insurance company to get these covered by insurance and delivered to your house in the shortest time possible. Another common cause of leg swelling is congestive heart failure. This is often diagnosed with echocardiogram, a blood test called BNP, and a chest x-ray. It is treated with medications such as diuretics or water pills, and medications to improve the efficiency of the heart. Another common cause of leg swelling is lymphedema. There are ways of distinguishing this from venous insufficiency. Lymphedema usually has pronounced swelling on the top or dorsum of the foot. It is usually not pitting. Lymphedema can be effectively treated with sequential compression machines. Other causes of swelling include medications, obesity, and pregnancy. I hope you have found this overview of leg swelling helpful.